Hey guys, it is Thursday, January 20th, and topic this week is ex-girlfriends at Valentine's Day. I don't really have any ex-girlfriends that I really would like to talk about because honestly in my head, like, I've only really been in one relationship, and I'm still in that one, as you guys saw last week. <laughs> um, so that will lead me to Valentine's Day. My video this week is going to be short, I'm so sorry. Um, I, Valentine's Day, so I always come up with something really clever and creative to do for my girlfriend for Valentine's Day, because this will be our third together, wow, I can do math, um, and basically, I try to do whatever I can, I like Valentine's Day only because, I don't know, it's like another chance to do something creative and special, but I do think it's, like, highly commercialized, which kind of bugs me, but whatever. Okay, so I really am excited to show you guys my ten interesting things. Number one, a dolphin that I carved out of wood by myself. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> and I just almost broke it. But it's okay, I fixed it. A sand dollar that I found while I was diving in the Cayman Islands. Scuba diving, I found it. That's two, right? Two, okay. Castanuelas that my friend Bob brought back to me from Spain. Yeah, I don't really know if that's supposed to be like a pretty noise, but I think they're really cool. So I decided that you guys should have the pleasure of seeing them. This is number three. Tim Burton playing cards, okay? These are, like, the most fun to play with because they're kind of, well, they're very Tim Burton-esque, which means they're really creepy, like, they're really very, like, they're very scary. But I like them a lot. Um, <coughs> excuse me, that was unattractive. Um, okay, I'm gonna put these back in the box here. They won't go, they won't go, they won't go. Okay, thing number four. I'm going to show you my two collections last. But things not, thing number four is this is mad cow disease. This is what it's shaped like and this is what it looks like. And it's a little stuffed animal that my mom got for me. Mad cow. Bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Thing number five. Where did I put it? Um, thing number five. Okay. Um, well, Shane kind of stole my idea, but thing number five is a playbill from Wicked on Broadway. And thing number five and a half, six, um, is something that Adina Menzel signed at her concert. She gave me a hug and she signed it signed it so that's this is gonna be like six and a half seven um it's a wicked pop-up book if you haven't guessed by now i really like wicked um unfortunately i've only seen it once but hopefully i will be going to see it again i'm trying to find another good page other than the emerald city here we go it's pretty cool Okay, eight, nine, and ten. Ready? Um, these are my American Girl dolls that I've had like forever. I love them. I really do. They used to be like my only friends, as depressing as that is. <laughs> okay, things number nine and ten are my collection. So I collect band aids. So I have Transformers and Cars and Scooby Doo and Sesame Street, and Sparkly, and Spongebob, Spongebob and Toy Story. So that's one of my collections. The other one is I collect the Japanese erasers. Okay, so these are all sorts of things. Like I have like all sorts of things. I have like sushi, and buses, and cars, and trains, and I love it. Okay, well that is all for this week. Stay tuned for next week and follow 
follow me on Tumblr. We made a t well, I made a Tumblr for us, but we'll see whether or not that stays in existence because of what happens with Farm Spring, but blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, next week is going to be really exciting, so everybody should watch.